Good luck. Health check tonight. Some are calling it a Christmas miracle, not once, but twice for a Pennsylvania family and their three year old son. Health reporter and registered nurse Allie Gorman met with his parents today and she joins us with their story. Hi, Allie. Hi, Brian and Monica. Well, Brandon here asked five different Santas for one amazing gift, a kidney. His family got the call on a very special day on Christmas and just in time for Brandon's birthday. Does that keep you strong like a superhero? Yeah. Three-year-old Brandon Michael Leathers is recovering like a superhero after a kidney transplant at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia two days ago. Today's the best day so far. His parents tell me Brandon has spent much of his young life in the hospital. A Facebook page, Prayers for Brandon, was created when he was just days old. Because even before he was born, a life-threatening problem was found with his kidneys and urinary tract. They actually had me meet with a chaplain a couple times a week while I was on bed rest um, because his expected um, survival rate was really, really low. Brandon spent his first six months hooked up to tubes to help him breathe and filter his blood. He's depended on dialysis ever since he was six days old. But he survived, and always with a smile. Three years later, his quest to find a matching kidney, asking several different Santas for the gift. He wanted to go pee like his sister, and he didn't want to be on a machine anymore. The call came Christmas Day, the transplant the next day, on his birthday, December 26th. His parents believe it's much more than a coincidence. Absolutely. Especially the timing, uh, you know, Christmas They're and then his birthday right there. Was, and being exactly three years is not very common. I love you. The family is forever grateful. Their Christmas miracle baby has received another miracle the gift of life. He's got a life to live and we're going to sit in the front row and just let him do what he wants to do and watch him thrive because that's what he does. And so far they say the kidney is working. Brandon will spend at least another few days at the hospital and then stay at the gift of life house. Now his parents also told me Brandon is named after his uncle who passed away. His godmother also died at a young age. They believe that they are now Brandon's guardian angels. Mm. Brian and Monica. Oh my, what a sweet story. Yeah, beautiful little boy with a great life ahead. Yeah. Thank Allie, you. Thank you.